In this video, we'll be taking a look at two NHL games happening on May 14, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released, so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two NHL games. After after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Boston Bruins vs. Florida Panthers The Boston Bruins are set to face the Florida Panthers on Tuesday evening at Amaranth Bank Arena in Florida. This matchup marks the fifth game of their second round playoff series, which is a rematch of the Eastern Conference first round playoffs from last spring. During the regular season, the Bruins triumphed in all four of their encounters with the Panthers, including a close 3-2 victory in Boston last April. However, the Panthers had the upper hand in last year's playoff series, defeating Boston 4-3. Although the Bruins secured a decisive 5-1 victory in the first game of the current series, they have not managed to win any subsequent games. Florida now stands on the verge of ending Boston's season and advancing to the next round with a win in Game 5. Game 5 is pivotal as the Boston Bruins and Florida Panthers prepare to clash on the ice. Despite the Bruins' dominant start with a 1-0 series lead, they have since struggled against a resilient Panthers team, finding themselves on the brink of elimination. To survive, Boston must win the next three games, a daunting task given their current form. The Bruins are fighting for their playoff lives, but it remains to be seen if their sense of urgency will be enough to turn the tide. The Florida Panthers are playing with incredible determination. Their blowout loss in Game 1 served as a wake-up call, prompting them to elevate their game significantly. The lack of depth in Boston's lineup has become apparent, especially with Brad Marchand dealing with an injury, which significantly hampers their strength. Additionally, the Panthers enjoy the advantage of playing on home ice, bolstered by a fervent crowd eager for another series victory. This combination of factors puts the Panthers in a strong position to seize this opportunity, making it a potentially long and challenging game for the Bruins. Coming into this series, I expressed doubts about the Bruins, suspecting that they had merely capitalized on the Toronto Maple Leafs' late series mistakes. Boston was outplayed in games 5 and 6, and for much of game 7 against Toronto. In contrast, Florida appears to be the superior team by a considerable margin. Given the Panthers' current form and overall performance, it seems unlikely that the Bruins will find much success in the remainder of this series. Therefore, the Florida Panthers' money line is our full game side pick. This series has been anything but low scoring, with an average of 6.5 goals per game. The Panthers have led the charge, averaging 4 goals per game and scoring at will, particularly exploiting the weaknesses of Bruins goaltender Jeremy Swayman, who has a .903 save percentage and a 3.25 goals against average. The Bruins, on the other hand, have also shown their scoring capability. Despite only managing 18 shots in the last game, they scored twice, highlighting that Sergei Bobrovsky can be beaten. Expect Boston to to pepper the net with shots throughout the game as they fight to stay alive in the playoffs. The Bruins are likely to generate numerous scoring opportunities with players like David Pasternak, Jake DeBrusque, and others leading their forward unit. They will aim to carry the puck into the offensive zone and create open shots through quick passes. Meanwhile, the Panthers, who have scored 15 goals in the last three games, will rely on the offensive prowess of Alexander Barkov, Sam Reinhardt, Matthew T. Kachuk, and their forward unit. They will look to crash the net and create open shots with effective puck movement, while defensemen Brandon Montour and Gustav Forsling will look to dismantle the Bruins' defense from the blue line. With both offenses stepping up, this game is set to be a high-scoring affair. Therefore, over the projected total is our full game total pick. Vancouver Canucks vs. Edmonton Oilers The NHL postseason is in full swing, showcasing a matchup between two Western Conference teams in the province of Alberta. The Vancouver Canucks are hitting the road to play Game 4 of their best-of-seven Western Conference semifinals series against the Edmonton Oilers on Tuesday night. Vancouver started strong in this series, overcoming a three-goal deficit to defeat Edmonton 5-4 in the first game, drawing first blood. Edmonton responded in Game 2 with a 4-3 overtime victory on Friday night, leveling the series at one game each. 
When the series shifted to Edmonton, Vancouver seized an early lead and managed to hold on for a 4-3 win, taking a 2-1 series lead and reclaiming home ice advantage. The pivotal question now is whether the Canucks will extend their lead to 3-1 or if the Oilers will even the series before it heads back west for Game 5. Historically, the Oilers have had the upper hand in postseason encounters against the Canucks. Edmonton has won both previous series between the two teams, holding an 8-4 advantage in head-to-head -head playoff victories, including a six-game series win in the 1992 Smythe Division Finals. Despite playing at home where they boast a 30-10-5 record this season, the Oilers are not the clear favorites. The value seems to lie with the Canucks, who, despite being underrated by oddsmakers, have accumulated 56 wins this season and are known for their strong defensive play. Moreover, the Canucks have won six of their last seven games against the Oilers, with their only loss in this stretch being a narrow overtime defeat in Game 2. Betting on the Canucks offers more than one and a half times the return, making them a tempting choice given their recent dominance over Edmonton. Offensively, the Oilers have maintained their aggressive approach throughout this series. However, their goaltending has been a significant weakness. Skinner has struggled, posting a dismal .793 save percentage, allowing 12 goals on 58 shots. In contrast, rookie goalie Silos has improved throughout the series, achieving an .883 save percentage, up from .778 in Game 1 to .933 in Game 3. Given these defensive struggles, it's difficult to have confidence in the Oilers' ability to secure a win. The Oilers' defensive issues suggest that Vancouver will likely start strong, potentially shattering any confidence Edmonton might have. Considering the Canucks' recent performances and the odds, betting on Vancouver in Game 4 is appealing. While it's possible that Edmonton could dominate, if they win, it will likely be by a narrow margin, making the Vancouver Canucks to cover the spread as underdogs are full game side pick. Throughout the season, Edmonton has boasted one of the league's top offenses, continuing their scoring prowess into the first round of the playoffs. They scored four or more goals in four of their five games in round one. Meanwhile, the Canucks also had a solid offensive season, ranking sixth in goals per game. Though Vancouver's offense wasn't as sharp in round one, they had notable success against Edmonton during the regular season, scoring eight goals in their first meeting, four in the second, six in the third, and three in the fourth. In this series, Vancouver scored five goals in Game 1, three in Game 2, and four in Game 3, while Edmonton scored four goals in Games 1 and 2, and three in Game 3. Notably, Vancouver's star goaltender Thatcher Demko is not expected to play, indicating that both teams are likely to find the back of the net frequently. Vancouver has seen the overhit in 46 of their 91 games this year, with an average of 6.02 goals per game, which rises to 6.11 as the road team. Edmonton, on the other hand, hand, has seen the undergo 44-41-4 in their 90 games, but their average goals per game sits at 6.51, increasing to 6.87 on home ice. The first three games of this series have all gone over the projected total, with nine goals in the opener and seven goals in both games two and three. Given Edmonton's high-scoring style, this trend is likely to continue. Thus, over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.